What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. Break it all down. Walking to go meet a guy I met on Hinge. She's a runner. She's so a track star. meeting tonight. He likes my picture. And I the man I'm meeting tonight, it's almost like she's got appointments. Shot fired! <laughs> Shot what do you fired! mean by that? Him, and I was like, you look familiar. I thought I met him in like a bar or something. He messages back. He goes, you ghosted me Stupid. like months ago. And I was like, oh my God, that wasn't me. Yes, I told him it was like my evil twin, Daniela, and he thought that was funny. This is why women want the equality of men, but they want the accountability of children. Oh shit! Oh, so, shit. come back. Come back of the century. Let's go. What do I say when I first meet him? Do I apologize, like, apologize for ghosting yeah. him? Do the moral thing. Meeting strangers off the internet is so weird. I don't care how many times you've done it. Tell me you're hey, red without telling me you're red. This self-entitled oh modern woman Stupid. ghosted and... Sorry I ghosted you. It was like, I didn't even like mean to. It was kind of just like, you know, just like, oh my gosh. I didn't even know what was going on. That is so weird, bro. This happened. It's bad dates like this that make me never want to go on another one. Why? Honestly, it wasn't even that bad. But like, oh, okay. I know that like my boobs are out in this dress. But this man looked at my boobs every two seconds. His you want to know why? It's because women are marketers and men are salesmen. We're only going to buy the product that you're actually selling. So if you're selling your cha-chas out, that's what we're going to be buying, honey. Response was, oh yeah, I made a TikTok once, but I deleted it. It was so embarrassing. And I said, oh, you should like make more TikToks. They're really fun to make. And his response was, oh, maybe if I was 20, I've outgrown that. I was like, sir, that what was so offensive. <laughs> End of the night, we were waiting for his Uber and I could tell that he was trying to kiss me so i kept like taking steps back and he just kept coming towards me i don't understand how he didn't get the hint uber got there i had to like duck my head and go for the side hug so that he wouldn't fucking kiss me like there was i was not giving any signs i don't know this scenario what I hate about these modern women it's like a, they get on TikTok and it's like a humiliation ritual they have to get online they have to shame you this guy was doing his best right this is why i say don't even talk to these chicks don't even engage with this behavior because like you're going to go into it and you're going to think that she's probably going to be honest with you me when a guy on hinge matches with me for the second time because i didn't respond to the first and still kiss like like bro like this is why these women aren't even worth it these days if she ghosted you once bro Wipe your hands. Good thing. She let you know. She let you know just to kind of keep it pushing. But like this chick right here is mid at best. She's a five all day. She's got the blue eyes. I'll give it to her. And at least she did apologize for the guy. I always give kudos when kudos are deserved. So at least she apologized to this guy. But at the same time, baby girl, who are you? You're not even her. You're not even her. And if she's dry texting you like this, bro, just keep it pushing. You got to know when to take these L's. You got to know when to keep it going. And when a girl like this, she's super entitled. You can tell that she doesn't know her worth. She, you can tell that she thinks she's a straight up 10. When in reality, honey, you're a shiny nickel at best. Shots fired! You Shots are a shiny fired! nickel at best. Let's get into her a little post game here. The girls, but I'm only posting on TikTok to talk to the girls. So if the creepy and very mean men in the comment section of my last video could get the fuck out i would appreciate that i don't need it in my life Aww. i didn't even think i did anything i met a guy on hinge and i texted him like 10 times and i forgot to respond because i don't i don't know i had only texted him 10 times Where's jokingly said that i ghosted him because i technically did by okay. not responding now everyone's calling me a bop, which she's a runner, she's I a didn't track think that I was that old, but I had to Google what that meant. And some dude you're called a me a racist. Tell us your bop lore. For very silly reasons. And I'm just, I'm wondering where the girls are at. If you followed me out of aggression towards that last video, I, I don't want those followers. Hmm. Please unfollow well, that's me. that's the internet, honey. You don't get to pick. I want to talk to the girls, please. Here's you want to thing. talk to the girls so much that you went out on a date with a guy? That makes no sense. Oh. Stop the cap. Stop capping. Stop lying. Own up to the things that you did. You were a bad person. You did some things that were pretty questionable and kind of crappy. And just say, you know what? I shouldn't have used this guy. I shouldn't have shamed him online. I shouldn't have gone through this humiliation ritual of putting him on TikTok and putting him on blast. Good thing she didn't show his face, though. What I'm talking enough about is something that I see on this app, which is these beautiful women that have 
amazing jobs, amazing lives. They are happy with themselves, and they just seem to not be able to find a partner that they can connect with. Yeah, because and- we don't, as men, we don't value your career. We don't value your job. We don't value your money. We value your youth, your fitness, your fertility. And it's something that I that I think has been a long time coming, and we probably need to address it very soon. She looks easy to draw. Shots fired! Shots fired! This epidemic, in my opinion, of... It's a sympidemic. Men who feel disgruntled for the wrong reasons. Um, when I first encountered incel culture, when I was in college, I had a lot of compassion for these men. I thought to myself, you know, some girl, some girl must have brick, broken their poor hearts. And because society doesn't allow space for men to be able to vent their emotions, this might just be a way for them to do so. And at first it was a good forum for that. You know, you were seeing, you know, men kind of create these mentor mentor we relationships. But as we've seen with these podcasts- I think a lot of the men nowadays are voluntarily celibate because they're realizing that the water's muddied. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you guys think you've given up because the quality of women have just plummeted? And that's what I think. I think a lot of men could go out there and could try and are willing to try because we go out and try in our jobs. We go out and try in our careers. We go out and try with our friendships. But the thing is, you ladies aren't even worth trying. Stupid. Like it's a lost cause for you guys. You'll try, try, try. But the thing is, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Bros, it's just gone off the deep end. And this rhetoric that they have that you know, women are only capable of loving the 10% of men and the rest of them get, you know, left behind. And my initial perception of compassion for them has really changed over the years and especially today. When I saw a video of this girl breaking down, you know, this this misunderstanding that we have about these incels being sort of poor guys that have their hearts broken. Because I, she accurately explains that they're not mad that women are not choosing them. They're mad that women have choice in general they're mad that no longer are we in the days where we can just force a woman to just be with any guy and all they had to worry about is like provide and not be anything else not be emotionally present not be a good father not be a good husband but now they need to step to the plate and rather than working on that let me know in the comments did was there ever a time we had to force women to be in a relationship (laughs) <laughs> that is so dumb be fair i guess they don't have great role models but rather than working on that and focusing on that they're like oh these girls just suck and this was always confusing for me as a woman who grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood so i was never like the top choice in those spaces and so i very much so understood being a woman that wasn't quote unquote here's the thing here's what she missed you might not have been the ch- top choice honey but you were at least a choice. A lot of men out there are not even the choice. And this is where y'all get it mixed up. Y'all think that men just have lay of the land and that a lot of these guys can go out. A lot of these guys work a lot of long hours. A lot of the blue collar guys are busting their butts constantly. Do you think they really have time to go to the bar and then try to pick up a woman? No, we don't have the co-star today. Loki's not feeling good, so Cass is out there nursing him back to health. But you think a lot of these men can just go out and go to the bar and meet their wife at the bar and meet their wife at the club? No, they're getting off of a long, hard day, a long, hard week at work, and they're going home and doing things that bring them joy. Some of these guys, the last thing that's going to bring them joy is going to try to talk to one of you modern women. Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm just saying, a lot of you guys are absolutely unbearable. You're super entitled, you're older, you're not in shape, you're not feminine, you can't cook, you can't clean, you're not organized, you're not motherly, like, you're not even feminine. A lot of the times, you guys are masculine. So, like, what are we really getting out of the deal? An argumentative, combative woman that isn't feminine at all. Why would we want to go out and try for that? What? you know, some like surrounded my men that always wanted to talk to her. And so I was just like toying and playing with guys. Like whenever I heard guys talk about that, I'm like, you're talking about like the hottest girls that are your type and your standard that you know you cannot attain, but then now you're bitter about. And so the irony was that that rhetoric that they were saying about like women only going for the top 10%, like that's what I feel like men do. Um, And so this breakdown from this girl today was so fantastic, but also worrying as a straight woman who eventually wants to have a partner that I feel like is my equal, not just, you know, in terms of the caliber of their lifestyle, but also... You don't want an equal, honey. You want a man that's better than you. Here's here's the thing. Ladies, do you want a guy that's taller than you? Or let me know, guys, is this right? Let me know in the comments what you think about this ideology right here. Women want a guy that's taller than them, yes or no? Right. 
do women want a man that makes more than them? Yes. Do they want a man that's more confident than them? Yes. Do they want a man that's more competent than them? Do they want a man that's more professional than them? That's stronger than them? Taller, stronger, bigger, faster, makes more money, right? They want all of that. So when you're describing that, you're actually describing a superior, which means you are an inferior, which means somebody has to lead and somebody has to follow. In that regard, from what I just explained, women, you would be the ones that have to follow and you would be the ones that have to be submissive. So you're not looking for an equal. You're looking for a leader. And this is where these modern women get mixed up. You're not looking for somebody that's right next to you equal. You want somebody that's better than you. So just say what it is. Say what it is. <laughs> you want a man who's better than you. But the thing is, you can't procure a man that's better than you because you're a run-of-the-mill, run-of-the-pack kind of girl. Shots fired! Shots fired! You're nothing special. And the thing is, a lot of these women that think they're special, they all bring the same things to the table. Well, I'm feminine. Okay, every woman should be feminine. Out the box, you should be feminine. So, like, don't don't come to us with all this crazy stuff where you're special when you really ain't. Mentally and emotionally um, and psychologically, it feels like we are in really tricky times um, because we're coming to a reckoning about how boys are raised. Um, and who raises most of the boys? Single mothers. And single mothers do a very bad job of raising these boys. Now, the men have to take accountability. We have to stop stroking out these women and having all these illegitimate kids with these women that ain't worth a damn. Because a lot of these guys ain't worth a damn either. So, you know, it takes two to tango. But at the same time, these women don't spread your legs for a man that ain't worth it. It's simple as that. It's simple as that because you're going to end up being a... You're a single mother. You're single. to be showing off a baby and being a single mom but the thing is you guys spread your legs for these men that ain't worth it and then you complain about him not being worth it well you picked him what are you talking about and how much the gap between how boys and girls are raised has you know increased over time well women that despise men are raising boys how can a woman that despises men raise a boy to be a man it makes no sense. You need a man to raise a man, just like you need a wife to raise a woman to be a mother and a wife. I come from a culture where it's so much more explicit. In Nigeria, women are explicitly taught to be good wives and mothers. And mm. you see the dichotomy with how the boys are raised there to just do and be whatever. And right. they're just allowed to just do crazy stuff, basically. And it enables and empowers these men to just have egos the size of mountains and sometimes be horrible to their wives. I feel like in that context, it's much more explicit. But I see this in the U.S. as well in just a little bit more of a subtle way. But what I see is women being empowered to just be like, well, you know what? Like, I'm not going to just pick whatever. Like, society is not forcing me to. So I would rather be single. And you're seeing a lot of single and genuinely yeah, happy. Get a cat. Get a dog. Get a little donkey. <laughs> Get some hay bales, start a little petting zoo. Go do that. You'll be a millionaire in a week. Women, because we don't have to marry some weirdo just to have a good life and to have a good quality of life anymore. And that is what is making <laughs> And this is why you're on TikTok complaining about it. <laughs> make it make sense. That. But men, instead of being upset, like there are pathways to do this. Like as women, we had to develop emotional intelligence. We had to develop empathy, mm, compassion. Uh, we... Emotional intelligence is an oxymoron. And that's something you ladies do not have. Each other. We had to. You're just emotional. Like we didn't, you know, and this notion of women being just naturally good at the stuff. As a woman that had to, you know, See, learn. women to... mature earlier. They, you know, I, I say women reach their like emotional peak when they're like 14 but then they just stay right there this is why i say women grow old they never grow up and cass agrees she's like i act like a child sometimes you know and and some of our uh, some of our um family members do too a lot of older women they act like children it's just because y'all grow old you never grow up it's just it is what it is it's just the facts i'm sorry don't shoot the messenger to be around other women these are all learned things that you teach yourself and I don't know, I just feel like in general, women, we just have a lot more pressure to be a certain way, and just men never really had to, and that is yeah, starting- Yeah, because we can make babies till we're 80, and you guys have a shelf life of about 35 years old. Shots fired! Right. Shots fired! Do you hear yourself? To show, now that women have the autonomy that we've, the women before us have fought so hard to give us, we are choosing to not settle, and- <laughs> I'm sad. It. I'm not going to settle either, but I just want where the honey settle for what you're mid at best. Bloody men. Where are you guys? Where are you guys?
I don't think this. Not epide- looking for women like you. I'm gonna keep it a buckaroonie. Um, let me let me know in the comments. Would you go after a girl like that? Aesthetics aside, whether what she looks like or anything like that, would you actually go for a woman that has that attitude and has that mentality when it comes to relationships? Is that a woman you would target? Is that a woman you would go after? Personally, absolutely not. I want a woman that's way more traditional, that understands that there's a hierarchy in the home, that understands that women are good at things, men are good at things, and we both bring different things to the table. I want a woman that wants to be feminine, inspirational, beautiful, fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural, and nurturing that's what i want that's what i want that's what's going to bring out the best in me i don't want a woman that's combative masculine argumentative i don't want any of that entitled i don't want any of that and then admit it best get out of here with that dude for some real talk i am truly convinced that my idea of a good guy or a guy i would like to date does not exist. he exists but the guys that you want to date are out of your league because you allow them to buck you but then they don't want to cuff you because they can just buck you there's levels to it right if a guy can buck a girl he's already above her so that means she's below him why would he date a girl below he's going to want to date a girl that's up there with him or at least above guys want hot chicks that's just how it goes we're very superficial you ladies are more emotional so you want a guy with a good personality when I was younger and watching rom-coms I was always confused as fuck like why are these women batshit crazy why are they insane and now Maturing is understanding why women crash the fuck out. Let's get Language. one thing straight. All men lie. Like, I, every man is going to lie to you. All men lie. Well, women, it's because men lie. Why do women wear makeup? Men lie and women wear makeup. You guys lie about your looks. You're, li- you're literally lying right now. <laughs> you're making up for a lack of aesthetic. Your lips aren't that color. Your eyelashes aren't that long. You're, you're lying. IRL lying right here. And you're going to tell us about lying? Come on. It's like a sport for them. They don't give a fuck about you enough to tell you the truth and to be honest with you or to care about you. It's a like man fake with- hair, fake makeup. Like, come on. You're talking about lying. Just just, just the just the irony of it all. will be on his knees, praising the ground you walk on. Noah from the notebook style. And the very next day, go fuck another woman. It's just how it's how it is. We have to accept. No, that's that. just the men that you pick, honey. Just say that you don't pick good. Where's the accountability? It's left the chat. Like, it, like, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Is it because she can't pick a good man or is it because all these men are bad? I'm going to keep it a buck. I think a lot of you guys are really good guys. A lot of you guys have gone your own way. There's a lot of you guys that are in happy relationships. A lot of you guys have gotten burned. Most of the guys that have gotten burned, it was because something the woman did. She up and just left out of nowhere. She cheated. She did something where she just divorced you out of the blue. Like, that happens a lot. The thing is, these women aren't good at picking. You pick bad men who burn you, and then you think all men are like that. That's not really the case. There's a lot of really good men out there. We have a lot of good blue-collar guys that watch. Truck drivers, like guys that work construction. Like A lot of these men are very good men. They just work all the time, so they don't have the time to invest in you. But you ladies would never give these guys a chance. I've seen that balloon popping video where the dude's like, I drive a truck, and she just starts laughing at the guy. I'm like, do you know how hard that job is? Being on the road when other people really aren't courteous enough to let a truck driver go by the way, and then you have to unload these pallets. You're driving hours upon hours a day. It's hard on your back. It's hard on your arms it's hard on your legs and you're getting up uh, up and down going to these different like bro truck driving is not for the weak now this stuff is very difficult and you have to work a lot of hours you have to be away from home alone a lot of the time like try to try doing that try isolating yourself on the road for 12 hours it's brutal from my experience it is literally stupid for me to see a guy showing me all the right signs doing everything right and to trust him like trusting this is the whole thing with the kevin samuels thing is where you pay you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past there will never be a future and this is this woman right here is a living testament of it let's just listen to how she talks about it and who is showing you trustworthy actions for me in my experience is stupidity i do not think i've had enough life experience to even navigate dating anymore i am scared i feel like i've been thrown into a battlefield that i don't know how to navigate you can't go by his words you can't go by his actions anymore what the fuck are we supposed to do like i can't i can't do this anymore keep me the fuck away from men because i will do something to them that they will not like i am a hazard to them at this point because all i can think is crash i'll crash the fuck out men are so much more than good lord and that's modern women for you that's what you guys have to pick from Talking about lying, but wearing a bunch of makeup (laughs) and fake hair, fake eyelashes.
<laughs> bro, you can't make this stuff up. Oh my god. Man, I really do appreciate you guys when the channel's been growing like crazy. Don't forget to cop the ebook. It's in the description. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. You know, I post new videos every day at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, so I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Make sure to come back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.